Corvettes. Anytime I come to the Corvette Museum, yes, I got to come to the Corvette store. But right here, introduce yourself to everyone. My name's uh, Tim Walker. I'm from Florida. I'm over here at the Corvette Museum, about ready to take the Z06 on the track. And tell everybody how you heard about that. I have heard it for Rick Conti on his channel. <laughs> if it wasn't for him, I won't be here right now enjoying the experience. All right, hopefully we get so. a chance to catch up with you before you get out of here so we can yeah. share everybody what you think we'll of do. the car after you drive it. Yep. Hey, you're getting ready to be deployed too. Yep. Uh, I just want to thank you for your service. Well, what, division, you. what division are you? Uh, Air Force. Air, Air Force. Force Reserves. Be careful over there, buddy. All right. All right. All right, we just got done eating a little lunch at the Stingray Grill, and it is always such a pleasure. It is so humbling to come down here to the museum and have you guys acknowledge that you watch the channel. Met a nice couple from Minnesota, another guy that says, hey, just come up, shake their hands, says, hey, I watched the Tech Tuesday with you and Chuck. Thanks, guys, for doing that. That really helps me, and I just really appreciate that. So it's wonderful to see you guys, too. Now, we were, and you saw that guy earlier today when we were inside the Corvette store. Let's go back in the store and show you this beautiful Red Mist Z06 convertible take a little bit of time and see it underneath the lights and then we're gonna go across the street and see some more Z06s. But look, you know what? Everybody's making a big deal out of the carbon fiber wheels and those are great for track performance, lighter weight and all that, but I'll tell you what, I like this wheel. I just like the way it looks. I like all the finishes that it's available in. I don't know which one I like the best, but I really like this and I'm really starting to become really fond of this rear spoiler. You know, everybody's making a big deal. I make a big deal because you can't get it. The high wing and all that for the Z07 package. This does not, even with, you know what I just noticed? Even without ceramic brakes, look how big those freaking rotors are. Well, uh, understandably so, right? Beautiful car. Oh, oh man, look at that. Yeah, seeing this car in person is just, it's massive. It really is. Now I... I mean, I've already known what the hype is. You've seen the stats and we've seen a lot of the videos, but when you guys see this car in person, you really start to understand just a little bit more. Oh, I'm such a big kid. <laughs> All right, so let's go across the street. Before we go to the track, I'm gonna see what's going on over there before my actual track session tomorrow. I heard Kai Spandy's got a new demo. Let's see what Z06, oh, I already know what it is. I saw it when we were on the plant tour, but I'm gonna show you guys today on the vlog. Thanks for watching this quick little segment. So much that we're capturing down here the delivery that I actually filmed today with my friend Greg will probably air uh, after Christmas, so stay tuned for that. It's always nice to, to see the people that are buying this car, the different specs that they're buying and why they're buying it, what their motivations are, and that's what makes Corvette so much fun and so special. Good to see you guys. You know, we all have routines in our lives. I have a routine every time I come to Bowling Green. I come to the assembly plant, I go over to the track and go to the museum. It is, um, it's one that I'll never break. Let's see what they got up here real quick. Hypersonic green, some natural interior. We've got, uh, see they put, they put pieces of paper over top of, did we start that? They got pieces of paper covering the VINs. They don't want you to see the VIN numbers to these cars. Now why is that? Okay, the plant manager hasn't left yet. When we came over for our tour and we were driving around, I saw his new demo. Last time we were here, we shared that with you guys. He's got another. What a tough job. He's doing a great job though, Kai Spandy, Bowling Green Assembly Plant Manager, doing a great job. He's got a beautiful silver. Okay, here's this other wheel. This is more than machine-faced. I like this, I like this wheel. Oh my gosh, he's got that. Got that all adrenaline red dipped interior on the silver flare. And I like this wheel. See, it's got a little bit of the gray inset and then the outside, the facing is machine faced. Ceramic brakes, low wing. But see how I like this? Body color and then black here. It looks like these are bolt on, right? Oh yeah. Great looking car, level two carbon fiber. See, I think it's got a picture of something there. Sorry, looks like a, <laughs> I'm being nosy. Of course I'm being nosy. <laughs> We're Corvette people, we're all nosy. <laughs> you goofs. Uh, looks like some kind of a Mobile One uh, promotional postcard or something in there. But I think all the Z06s should have just come with level two carbon fiber. I mean, that's just really sweet. Look at this guys, looks really good. How do you guys feel about the colored front splitter? You know, at first I wasn't quite sure, but the more I'm starting to see it, it adds a little bit of boldness to the car. 
even if you don't get an aero package or ground effects, you're still getting the side rocker piece. That's standard on Z06 right there. Before we get a sneak peek across the street to the track, we got to come over here. It looks like it's the holding area for a lot of cars that are about to be Corvette Museum deliveries. And I saw in my plant tour, and you're starting to see a spike, and that happens every single time. Somebody says, oh, no, you can't have that. Then everybody wants it. Hard to see right now because it's a cloudy day, but you're seeing a big spike in the caffeine color. And you know, it really isn't as bad as we teased when it first debuted. Get it out in the sun, the thing is just really really striking it really is but caffeine as we know from the leak on the e-ray stuff is gone for 2024 we'll talk more about future colors and this cacti crap oh i'm sorry i'm using my outside voice <laughs> we'll talk about that later what's over here in the holding lot i'm looking we're hawking this is a z06 mission these couple of days in addition to the delivery that i'll share with you later as i said and it looks like there is one over there red mist with the uh, low wing. Yeah, and I do, I like those, what are they called? A spider wheel? I like the spider wheels. Let's walk around here and see what else we got from a distance. No zoom on the GoPro. Love GoPros for the clarity, but the one thing I, I, I wish they had was a zoom. But I can see a uh, caffeine over there. There was one over there when we first walked in, as we mentioned. Lots of rapid blue. I was really worried that they were gonna get rid of Rapid Blue for 24. It's been such a good, it's been a fun color for me on the car. Yeah, some neat stuff over here. Ceramic gray, that's gone. And you can't see this from a distance, but I can. I love ceramic gray with the red interior. That has the all adrenaline red dipped interior. Looks outstanding on that hardtop convertible. Watch yourselves here. Told you the story where I fell in a hole before walking around trying to peek through fences. <laughs> I don't want to duplicate that. Also in that leak, we saw that it's, I was, I was actually shocked to see that the carbon flash metallic that's on the 70th anniversary now does continue for 2024 unofficially, uh, but white pearl does not. So if you want a white pearl, the 70th anniversary is the only way to get it. There's three sitting over there. Only one has the stripes. I actually like the stripes on the anniversary kind of to me it kind of completes the package i think another anniversary car here without the stripes amplify orange another ceramic gray i told you guys this never gets old for me it's just and i'm excited that we have the youtube component now to share it with you i am really truly like a little kid when i get around these cars Having one, doing the stuff that we're doing on the channel now, some of the things that we're about to do on the channel now really is a pleasure to me. Uh, it's fulfilling to me for all the years that I've really dedicated myself to the customer and to this car. Now I'm just a little bit more a part of it with you guys. Okay, can we, no, we can't get through there. So there's another section over there we'll check out. They used to, they're not anymore. When they ship the cars over from the plant for the museum deliveries, they used to have the white and transit covers on them. No longer are they doing that. They're just coming over like this and then they finish the prep inside the museum for you guys. Okay. There's that gloss black forged wheel. That's nice. White with the sky cool gray interior. That's a pretty car. Red high wing, red high wing. That's nice. Oh, in the distance. There we go. I'll point them out. Rapid blue, white, and Elkhart blue Z06 is down there. What am I doing standing here? Let's walk around, right? Yeah. Boy, it's cold today. Cloudy 43. Supposed to be partly sunny 46 tomorrow when Corey from Paragon and I drive the Z06. Real excited. Really. I, I'm more geek than I thought it would be. I'm real excited to share that experience with you guys this Sunday Christmas morning on Coffee with Conti when we drive the Z06. And speaking of which, look at this convertible with the uh, the stripes on it. That's got That's a coupe with the stripes on it. There's a uh, Elkhart with the red, and uh, I can see from a distance here, it does have uh, the red interior. It's too bad that the outside red stripe doesn't match the inside, but that's okay. See, it all has the, has the black gloss spider wheels. I like that way. Oh, there's a hypersonic gray across the way with a high wing. Lucky freaking dog. Can't, <laughs> just, you can't get those parts right now. Yeah, seeing the car in person, starting to have a better appreciation for the car. Just wish we had better availability. So right now, 
Let's make our conversations about Z06, especially down here right now, about the experience and the opportunity for you guys to drive that car. Think about that if you gave that to a gift for somebody. They would remember that forever. Gift it to yourself. First and only place in the country to drive Z06. Yeah, you can buy a car if you get a Z06. See, if you buy a Stingray, you can't go to Ron Fellows and go, hey, you know what, um, I think I'll drive the Z06 today. They go, no, 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 drive Z06 just like ZR1 days. To drive a Z06, you have to be an owner of a Z06. And right now, that's a near impossibility. So yes, when you get to that point, you can go out there to Nevada, which is just an experience unlike anything that I've ever done, and drive the Z06. But they're gonna they're gonna have cars, but probably not till April or May. They've got one car there right now, so it's not for customers. They're doing some promotions and stuff like that with it. But you know, when you get to that point, <laughs> who knows when that's gonna be? You could drive it, but there's not gonna be consumer cars for us to say, hey, I'll pay what it takes. Let me go out there for a couple of days and drive it, Ron Fellows. So right now, they just don't have it. It is about availability. Having, well, we're getting ready to go right now. Having one, two cars, in fact, at the NCM Motorsports Park is truly a unique and a fun opportunity for you. Right now, you could drive a Z06 in Bowling Green, Kentucky, y'all. <laughs> I always gotta say that, man. I'm sorry. I just think it's so cute when they say, Bowling Green, Kentucky, y'all. Okay, let's go. Let's go over to the track. We're waiting for him to come around. You can hear him on the other side of the track. This is the other part of the package where you get a hot lap. Oh, wow, I can tell that he is really booking it on that back corner. You get a hot lap with the professional driver. You're wearing a helmet on this one. Wait till you see this, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh! <laughs> Are you freaking kidding? Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that was incredible. Oh, I'm doing that tomorrow. You guys, oh my God. Oh my God, that was cool. You guys could do this, man. NCMMotorsportsPark.org. Are you on the computer? Get your credit card, book your classes right now. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Tab, you were so right, man. Oh my God, that guy was flying. was freaking great. Oh my God, I loved it. Is he gonna do it again? Nah, I think that's right. Oh, that right, sucks. Right. You know <laughs> Come on, there's no one here, let's go. Oh my gosh, wow, woo! <laughs> Yeah!